All right, we're loading the last caller up on Zoom. What did we do? Seven callers, six callers? We had eight, but a couple people dropped out. I would rather do quality over quantity. So when people ask a question, you guys know I give long answers. I'm a preacher. I want to be thorough. But yeah, we don't get through as many callers. And I realize my fire s smoke no. thing's going off. How are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. Good. How do I pronounce your first name? Um, it's Wushle Bengosi. Okay, I'm never going to be able to pronounce that. I was trying to pronounce it, but yeah, we're just going to call you uh, B. All right, I love that. Where are you from? I'm originally from Zimbabwe, but living in Germany. Okay, so you're from Zimbabwe. You're living and calling from Germany. That is amazing. Love the yeah. name. Um, and I, I don't even want to try to pronounce it because I'm going to feel bad, but it's an awesome, awesome name. What time is it where you're at, by the way? Uh, it's almost 10.30 p.m., 10 30 p.m so we got people all over the world on here today and i'm, I'm glad we're doing this because sometimes they can't you guys can't watch when i'm at six o'clock so it gives you guys a chance to get on the lives when i'm at noon so thank you so much for calling in today thank you so much as well um, awesome well what's going on uh my question is more like how how to deal with family I mean, especially when it comes to finances in terms of like, I have a very um, strained and uh, sometimes frustrate, frustrating relationship with my sister in terms of like where, when I can, when I, when she asks for help that is financially and uh, I'm, I'm able to help, I do that. But because she, our mother unfortunately passed away when we were still children. I was still, I was 13, I think. I'm sorry and, um, that. No, it's fine. It's been a long time now. So she was a single mom. My parents were divorced uh, as, as long as I can remember. As, I think I was a baby at that time. So I hardly have any contact to my father. And so my sister had to then take on the role to then raise me. Um, so now we're adults and I'm like 30, 31. She's like 37. And but she still goes on like mom mode, and sometimes like she guilt trips, guilt trips me when it comes to like finances, and she'll be like, you know, I raised you and stuff like that, and I always find it like I struggle on how to like have boundaries or should I even have boundaries with her when it comes to finances, and I literally have been praying about this for the past two years because I. I don't know how to handle the situation. I've had situations where I would get like panic attacks because she would be like asking more of me that I cannot um, give at that time. Uh, so yeah, that is more or less the summary version of it. Yeah, I mean, biblically, you're definitely not required to support her financially. I know every country, every ethnicity has a different, uh, let's just say, idea of how the family should support the family. Some cultures like, hey, you move out, you get married, your finances are your finances. Other cultures and other countries, you probably already know this, are like you have to support your parents or your siblings or your family or whoever makes the most supports the family. And there's a lot of different uh spectrums on that in different types of cultures so in america that's probably least prevalent in america it's the culture is more like your money is your money you're not obligated now of course like for me all my family is doing good and doesn't really need the financial help but i would always help my family if they needed it and if i was able to help them like i'm not going to be struggling with my own finances and not be able to pay for my bills and then also trying to be paying for other family and, it's, and then I also have to think about, you know, is your family working? And, and that's a whole nother topic of discussion. As far as the mm -hmm. Bible, I'm just trying to think right now. I can't think of any scripture that requires you to support your family financially or to pay for your sister or to pay for your parents or anything like that. I think you have to use your own conviction and your own discretion and you have to look at your finances. You know, if you're super wealthy, then it's like, hey, you should probably help them out, but you're not required to. If you're not wealthy and you're struggling yourself, it's like, how am I gonna help you if I could barely help myself? So yes. I definitely think it's a tough situation to be in. I think the best thing would be is just being vulnerable with your sister and letting her know where you're at and being like, hey, I don't want this to cause a strain in our relationship. Um, people get funny with money. 
that's just how it is. People act weird about money. And sometimes a lot of people don't talk to their family anymore because of money, you know, because the family maybe yeah. thinks they should be paying them or vice versa. And so you definitely don't want, you don't want the enemy to use this to cause a wedge in your relationship. You don't want the enemy Absolutely. to use this to cause division. The best way to clear the air is to talk about this, create boundaries and say, hey, this is where I'm at financially. I can't afford to help you. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll help you if I can, but I don't want this to be contentious. I don't want this to be a thing we're always talking about and arguing about. I don't want this, want this to be a thought. And you're not obligated. In my opinion, you know, your sister might not like that I'm saying this, but <laughs> you're not obligated to support your sister. You're just, you're just not. You're not obligated to. You have your own family. You have your own finances and you're not obligated. So... Um, that's kind of where I'm at on it. I, I don't have any verses necessarily to give you. I, maybe there are some verses. You know, I don't. Ha of course, I don't have the whole Bible memorized. I would have to do some research on this and look into this. But I would just say, out of the top of my head, I, I don't really see verses that require us to support our family financially. Yeah, because like I've had situations like because like I follow your channel and uh, Pastor Vlad, and sometimes I'll be so excited and I'll be just sharing the the good news with her, and she knows how to use like the bible where she would be like okay i see you're like uh down with the lord you're praying and everything oh by the way can you send me a hundred or she'll be like oh praise be like i don't know like there's some form of strategic manipulation which literally it has made me like lose all the trust that i have for her honestly yeah. but at the same time i don't want to lose the relationship that i have with my sister where sometimes i feel like it's toxic to some extent yeah and where does she and, located is she living in an area that is like poverty or doesn't have the financial state you have or is there what is there a dynamic like that there um yeah to some extent of course uh, my life here is different in europe as i am getting a steady pay and i am living stably and uh back in zimbabwe it's not as stable so to okay say, so she's still in zimbabwe and you're you're yes. in germany currently yes yeah and i think honestly just being honest i think a lot of this has to do with her in her mind thinking okay i'm over here in a area maybe of, of that's not doing as good right maybe there's some poverty in the area and here's my sister in germany right the money over there is worth a lot more than the money over here and it doesn't mm. hurt her to send me in to support me and that i'm sure a lot of people in the chat struggle with that again I don't have those international ties. Like I don't have family in the Philippines that I need to support. I probably would if I was able to. And I see where yeah. you're like, this is becoming manipulative and becoming, I could totally see that. And that's rough and that's hard. I just think you need to pray and say, okay, Lord, is this something you want me to help with? Is this something you want me to do or not? And then, <laughs> and then move on from there. But it's, it's a hard place to be. And I also sympathize with her because she doesn't have the opportunity, of, of course, course you have, and all of that, of course. And you, I'm sure you, you thought about all of this so many times, yes. but I think that could be why she's so leaning to you is because she's like, hey, I'm in a place where the money uh, is not there. She's in a place where it is. And maybe she thinks in her mind, it comes easy to you, which it doesn't. Maybe that's something you need to talk about. Like, hey sis, I work hard for this money. This is not like, I'm not getting a free handout. No one's giving me free money. Um, and it's, mm -hmm. I don't have it. Or maybe you say, Hey, I do have a little bit of extra that I can give you each month, but please let's no one, don't ask me for anything more than that. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want this to be a topic of conversation. I'm going to send you this on a recurring basis and that's going to be it. And if I can afford more, I will. And if I can't, I won't, but, um, you definitely don't want that a dynamic in your relationship. So you just maybe need to be open with her and say, this is where it's at. And it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Um, thank you so much. And like, um, I would like just like a small prayer. I was actually in a car accident yesterday. Oh no. And um, I was released from the hospital today and I'm like in pain even right now when as I speak. But yeah. I was like, I, I need to like uh, log in and uh, ask for wisdom in that situation. Uh, but Absolutely. I have another situation as well. So I'd greatly appreciate that. <laughs> yep, Father, we just pray right now, God, for our sister. We just pray, Lord, that you'd bring healing from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. We pray for the healing power of God to touch you right now. Father, we just pray all pain would be healed right now. All nerve damage, ligaments, tendons, every cell in her body, we pray would be healed and restored in Jesus' name. God, I just pray there would be no lasting damage. We just ask you, Holy Spirit, to fill that room right now. 
God, send your ministering angels to minister to her. Touch her body right now, Lord, and just bring complete healing and wholeness. In Jesus' name, God, we just pray that she'd be healed. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we say be healed and be made whole right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I just pray, touch her body, heal her body, give her peace of mind, remove any trauma, remove any fear, and just right now, I pray, Holy Spirit, sweep over her body with your healing touch. God, we know you are a God that heals. You are a God that restores. You are a God that delivers. So God, right now, we pray you would touch her. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much. God bless you, sister. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling in. We're praying for you, and I hope to talk to you again. Thank you. All right. You have a great day. All right. You. Yeah. God bless.